to MechTech Mr. Sullivan. In this video, we are going to learn how to make cookie cutters. Uh, it's something pretty cool, and it's something that we can actually print out here in the shop. Uh, that way you have them, and they are ready for the upcoming holidays. Uh, it's kind of cool. You can do it out of any shape you want. But, for this video, we are going to use the star shape. Uh, you guys are also going to make at least one star and then you'll be able to go through and make your own cookie cutter afterwards using any shape that you want All right, so let's go ahead and get started so we're going to go ahead and delete this one that way we can start from scratch then we're going to go up we're going to change our name because we always change the name of our projects so it's easier for me to grade when you turn it in so in this case we're just going to call it your name in this case, Sullivan, and then the words cookie cutter. All right. Once you get that done, you're going to go over into the uh, basic menu, so the basic shapes menu, and you're going to scroll down until you see the star. Okay. Click and drag that out here. You'll notice that the star is kind of kicked off to the side. We want to adjust that, so we're going to rotate it. Okay. So you're going to rotate it 90 degrees. Remember, if you hold shift, it'll jump 45 degrees at a time. All right. Then from there, we need to grab the corner dot and resize it. The easiest way to do that is to hold shift. That way it scales together. And we're going to make it roughly 76 by 72. So as close as you can get, that will work. Okay? So as close as you can get to 76 by 72. Alright? Then, we're going to grab that center dot. We're going to move it down to 2. Alright? So, your X is close to 76. Your Y is 72. Close. Okay? and then your Z is 2. All right. Then from there, we're going to duplicate it. So you can either go up here and click the Duplicate button, or you can hit Control-D, and we're going to duplicate it twice, so we have three stars total. Okay. So we're going to have them, uh, have them set up. Because we need to go through, we need to make the lip for the cookie cutter, the part that's actually going to cut, cut through the dough, and then we need to turn one of these into the hole that's going to cut out the, the inside of it. Okay? So, we're going to start by making the lip that goes around the cookie cutter. So, again, we're going to hold shift, but we're going to increase this by about 4 millimeters on the sides, okay? So we're going to go to about 80 by 76. So 80 by 76, and then this will stay at 2. Alright? Once we get done with that, we're going to take the next star, and all we're going to do is adjust this z-axis, and we're going to go all the way to 15 like that. Okay. Then, with that original star that we made, we're going to make this one about two millimeters smaller than what it is currently at. So again, hold shift, go down two millimeters, so roughly 73 by 70, and then we're going to make it really tall. So we're going to go all the way up to 20. Okay. Then you're going to go up, you have your inspector window up here, you're going to click on hole, so it becomes a hole. Then you're going to select all three stars, so either you can do that by holding shift and clicking on them, or you can highlight and drag that red box out and make sure that you have all three of them. You'll know that you have all three because it will say shapes three 
in the inspector window, then we're going to use the align tool. Okay, so you're going to click on the align tool, you're going to line them up vertically, then you're going to line them up horizontally, and then once it looks like this, you will group it together and it cuts out the center of the star. So I don't know about you guys, but that looks like a cookie cutter to me. Alright, so once you get that that done, then you guys can go through and make your own cookie cutter out of any shape that you want. And you can even go through and uh, do some kind of cool extra things to where you can add the handle to the back of it and you can flip it over like that you can add, add that handle to the back to make it easier to take uh, to pull back up um, if you would like that would be pretty cool I haven't had somebody do that yet um, so that is always an option as well uh, but it's your choice it's your cookie cutter all shapes are available to you not just basic shapes you can go into any of these down here um, some of them are going to be a lot easier to to do than others uh, but give it a shot, see what you guys can do. Hopefully you learned something, and good luck.